by nobody in particular, I hereby crown you Princess Kuda, ruler of the Seven Seas. Jellyfish, let us celebrate my coronation with a royal ball. Let joy be unconfined. May I have this dance, my lady? Charmed, I'm sure. Playing coronation, Aunt Scylla. Were you using your pearl magic outside? Um, well, maybe just a little. Lumina, I've told you and told you. Keep your powers, powers private. private. 
I know, Aunt Scylla. I I'm sorry, really. You have a very special gift. But if word got out, well, all kinds of bad people might come looking for you. But I don't understand. Who's gonna see me way out here? You don't need to understand. Please, just do as I say. <gasps> Hello, Kuda. Hi, Aunt Scylla. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, great. Now your aunt's mad. And I've got clam dents in my head. Oh, you look fine. Hmm, except for your hair. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> uh -uh. like a princess. Can you imagine the dances they must have there? Kuda, you think we'll ever really get to see the castle? Maybe. Someday. I bet it's just the most wonderful place ever. I bet everyone there is happy all the time. Your gracious majesties, all I ask is that you consent to appear in public just one night. Your subjects need you. Your kingdom needs you. Dare I say, I need you. Caligo, as I've told you many times, Queen Lorelei and I... Of course, of course. And like you, I am inconsolable over the lost princess. But we simply must face the fact that with you and the Queen having no heir, the kingdom will one day pass to your nephew. My son. Hello, Neocrinus Decorus. And how are we today? <laughs> <sighs> I'm afraid Caligo is right. Perhaps it is time. Excellent! And since you'll also need to choose a suitable wife, we'll give a royal ball! We'll invite only the most beautiful and eligible young mermaids of the kingdom for a chance to be my son's queen. We should invite all the maidens and throw in a door prize.
frighten you? <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? I go by many names, but you may call me Murray. I come bearing an eel mail from an old friend of yours, Caligo. Hey! Out! <laughs> I admit, tracking you down was a particular challenge, but my bottom feeder's network came through. All right, you found me. What is it you want? Ah, oh, that famous hag hospitality. A simple request, really. My employer is once again in need of your, um, professional services. Services? What services? Caligo convinced his majesty to open up the castle for a royal ball, at which time the king will confer the Pearl of the Sea medallion onto Caligo's son. His majesty will then toast the boy from a cup of myrrhberry nectar. Which Caligo wants me to poison? Exactly. The king croaks, the sun is crowned, everybody wins. Well, maybe not the king. Don't you love a happy ending? Well, you can tell your employer that I'm no longer in the poisoning business. So unless you're interested in buying some gill glistener or scale brightener, get out! He said you'd say that. I'm therefore authorized to issue the following threat. Do it, or I'll tell everyone you killed the princess. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. He said you'd say that, too. I am therefore authorized to respond. Would so. Fine. If it's poison Caligo wants, it's poison he'll get. A wise decision. Here, you'll need this invitation to the ball. We'll leave the sordid details in your expert hands. After all, it's really all in the uh, execution, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> now don't be late. 8 p.m. Saturday at the castle. Castle? Huh? What about the castle? <gasps> Well, well. And who is this? Hmm. Hi, I'm li late again for dinner. Ah! Our guest was just leaving. But Aunt Scylla. Aunt Scylla? I assumed you lived alone. Maybe I should have. You assumed wrong. Get out! Ah! friend talking about? Did he mean the royal castle? Are you going there? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Please? Lumina, I heard it has golden doors and pearl chandeliers and a beautiful throne and it must be wonderful and I've always wanted to go there and so does Kuda. Huh? Absolutely not. I've told you how dangerous the journey is. I do it to sell my potions but it's far too risky for a young girl alone. But I wouldn't be alone. I'd have you, and Kuda, and burning fire coral, and vampire squid, and poisonous starfish. <sighs> Lumina, neither of you has ever been an inch outside this reef. Believe me, you wouldn't last two seconds, even with me to keep an eye on you. But it's out of the question. Uh, I think that's a no. I kind of stopped listening after Vampire Squid. Now, you be good. I'll be back in a few days. And please, both of you, stick close to home. Mm-hmm. That's a good girl. Bye! Goodbye! We're never gonna get to see the castle, Kuda. Hmm. Hey! Wanna play tail tag? Huh? You're it! <laughs> <gasps> huh? Hmm. What's this?
this? It's an invitation. She's not just going to the castle. She's invited to a royal ball. And she can't get in without this. Huh? Axilla, you forgot your... should bring this to her, don't you think? No, I don't think. Well, after all, she'll need it to get into the ball. So when you think about it, it's really our duty to go after her. All the way to the castle if we have to. Illumina, no! She'll be furious! Were you listening to Scylla, the dangerous journey? Psh, you mean the burning whatchamacallit and the poisonous thingamaboo? It was the burning fire coral and poisonous stonefish! Don't you see? This is our big chance! Hokuda, we've got to go! We've just got to! This has to be the right way. Hmm. I've seen Aunt Scylla head this way every time she goes to town. <laughs> it's a dead end. Well, that's that. We gave it our best. Let's go home. Hmm. I just don't understand. Huh? <gasps> Lumina! Wait for me! Oh, look! An opening! I bet that's her shortcut through the coral. Follow me, Kuda. Don't be afraid. Uh, make up your mind, I can't do both! Uh, Lumina? You do realize we're inside a someone, right? Come on, Kuda, I bet the end is right down here! Look at this! These are ribs! We're in a beast! A big, huge... Given for you. But I've told you, I don't want to be king. I want to be a botanist. Forget about plants. You're going to be king, and that's the end of it. Understood. <laughs> now get back to your waltz lessons. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Forgive me, Neocrinus the Chorus. <laughs> The Pearl of the Sea Medallion. Soon it will be mine. Miss me! Ah! I wish you'd stop doing that! <laughs> me too, but I don't think I can. 
Well, did you find Scylla? I did. And she agreed to do it. Excellent. And once she's poisoned the king at the ball, then I will rise up in righteous fury and finish off the old hag. Presto! I'm hailed as a national hero, and my son is crowned king of Sigundia. My, you have thought of everything. I make it my business to. And once my son is king, I will wield the real power in the kingdom. And now comes the hard part. Finding someone to marry him. Perhaps you should talk to Scylla. You know she has quite a lovely niece. Niece? Goodness me! Did I fail to mention that? Blonde, about 17 years old. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? What? I'm guessing that's a yes. Murray, bring me that girl. I want to ask her a few questions. <laughs> And it's getting kind of dark. Um... Hey! There! Quick! After him! Mr. Doom, that is one powerful voice you have. Aren't you gonna move it? I vote with him. Uh, aren't you listening? <laughs> Each one of my poisonous spikes means a terrible, horrible end! Much prettier. Huh? What? What have you done to me? Yeah. What have you done to him? I just despiked your spikes. Now no one needs to be scared of you. Oh, great. Just great. Now what am I supposed to do? Just be nicer. Stop trying to frighten everyone. Get to know your fellow fish. Easy for you to say. But everyone runs from me. Once no one's afraid of you, I bet you'll have loads of friends. I don't know. It all seems wrong for a stonefish. And I'm not so good at friendliness. We're heading to the city. There's lots of fish there, Mr. Doom. 
You could practice being friendly on them. The name's Spike. Uh, you don't mind me coming along? I'd be honored. And I'd be nervous, but I'll give it a shot. Scout cookies. Aha. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Darth Wormwood. <laughs> Let's go. Aunt Scylla, you left behind your invitation, so we're bringing it to you. See you at the castle. Love, Lumina. Hmm. Victims. Never there when you need them. As long as I'm here. I just need to outswim you! <laughs> huh? Help! Help! Kelp! Are you yelling kelp? Or help? Whoa! She swam right into a bed of snarly kelp! That stuff never lets go! Spike, quick! Gotta hold still! Some real yelling and screaming. Hey, love your pearls. You do? Oh, yeah, great look. That color is great on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> Lumina, look! It's your Aunt Scylla. <sighs> but we don't have the invitation. 
she's never going to believe us. She'll be angry we left the reef. Well, I'll just explain that we were trying to help out and... And you'll be grounded for a year. Come on. Wait, what about Spike? He's doing fine. Quick, in here. Oh, thank goodness. Look. This way, sweetie. I'll get you soon. But, but, but I think you must have the wrong... So, do y'all have references? Do you have a resume? Do you have a hairpin? Because my bun's coming undone. Can I get you a refreshment? Oh, Madam Ruckus, now are you sure this flesh is right for the royal ball? Trust me, honey, that color is you. That'll be $52.95, sure. Shampoo! Heads up! Huh? Ooh. Now, let's see what y'all can do. About what? Hang on, sugar. Salon de Mer, or Madame Rock is speaking. Uh-huh. You bet, ma'am. We can squeeze y'all in before the ball. Well, of course your eyes are all puffy, sugar. You need to put sea cucumbers on them every Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Huh? Salon de Mer, Madame Rock is speaking. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're completely booked on the Saturday. Why, certainly. Oh, Madame Ruckus! Hang on, honey. I can only do eight things at once. Lumina, this is our chance to leave. <gasps> oh, Scylla's coming! Uh, disguise hair! Close. Wow. Huh? You got the job. A job? I have a job! Uh, what's a job? But, uh, tell your friend the wig's not a good look. Hmm? Ah! Ah! And here's your first customer. Lunch breaks at one, we close at five. Oh, by the way, what's your name, hon? Uh, it's Lumina. Okay, Scylla's gone. Let's get out of here! But I have a customer. Remember the royal castle? The reason we came here in the first place? You're right. But she needs me. Just look. Huh. We'll leave right after this, Kuda. Isn't it exciting? My first job! So, you're the new stylist, huh? Well, newbie, I got two rules. Keep your hands out of my tip jar and don't ever touch my lucky brush, okay? Tip jar? Don't let her scare you, honey. That's Sandrine, and she's half Barracuda. <laughs> and this is Cora. She does nails and tails. Hi, I'm Lumina. This is my friend Kuda. Hi. We're just passing through. Well, it's nice to meet you anyway. Oh, I am beat. Salon de Mer. Of course. When would y'all like to come in, ma'am? Got it. Mm-hmm. Can you do my hair like her? Well, okay, if you want. But you know what might look even better on you? I want to look like her! Piece of advice, newbie. Just give them what they want. Trust me, they're all wearing the same hairstyle. Certainly, certainly. Mm-hmm. Let me see your eyes. <gasps> that is so totally awesome! I knew you'd like it. Like it? I love it! Oh, this is so it's so wonderful! So Welcome! Uh, okay, so you got.
got lucky. Nobody saw that. Now can we go? Next! I want my hair just like you did hers. Are you sure? How about something special? Just for you. Really? Have you briefed the men about the ball? Yes, sir. Don't worry. They know exactly what to do. <laughs> Splendid. Everything is arranged. The rest is up to you. You will take the steward's place at the ball and serve the Mulberry Nectar to the royal party, including his majesty. The king will present the pearl of the sea to my son, then drink the toast, then die. I have what you need. All that remains is to mix the brew. You rid me of one pest many years ago. Now you'll rid me of another. Oh, by the way, I understand you have a niece. I have a goldfish too. What of it? Please, give my regards to both of them. a lot more pearls. Huh? More pearls, more pearls, always more pearls. Are you sure you can make my hair look like hers? Yeah, yeah, no worries. I could do that style in my sleep. You know, I got an idea. How about I try something new, a little different? Oh, no, no, I, I want to... Hey, if she can do something different, so can I. But I want it, and you're gonna love it. Understand? Uh, okay. What? Oh, look! <gasps> Baby dolphins! That is so cute! I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> I never tried it before. Gone? What do you mean she's gone? You know, gone, vanished, abracadabra, now she's here, now she's not. The place was empty. Blast! Hmm, someone must have tipped her off. I don't think so. She left a note saying she was coming to the city, and I found this. Hmm. The royal crest. Then it is her. That old hag double-crossed me! Princess is alive! And yet you don't seem overjoyed. This could ruin everything! We've got to get rid of her! Search high and low! Get all your slimiest, sleaziest, creepiest cronies together! <laughs> That's the only kind I know. And find that girl! I can't seem to make heads or tails of this map, Dolphin. Ah, perhaps this good woman can be of some assistance. Excuse me, ma'am, but could wow, you... Thanks, ah. you're a doll. Just plop them down inside, I'll grab some more. Finally, the delivery's here. Did you bring some styling gel? Uh, styling gel? Aha, uh -huh. here it is. Sorry, I, <laughs> I... I'm afraid I'm a bit new to all this. It's okay. This is my first job, too. I'm Lumina. Pleasure to meet you, Lumina. I'm Delphin. Delphin? <coughs> now, now, how would she know? We've just met. It's Delphin. We get that a lot. I hope to see you again! Oh, he's handsome. Well, 
Aren't you the lucky one? You are the new stylist in town? Yes, sir. Lumina. Whatever. I hear you're a miracle worker. Can you do something with this? <laughs> I'm sure I can. Good luck. You'd be the first. <gasps> Is that a Robina Grandiflora? Hmm. I'm not sure. Hey, Cora, what kind of plant is this? Um, green? <gasps> She's beautiful. I'll introduce you when we're done. Fergus. I'm Cora. Do you like plants? Um, I have a fern. You do? Have you ever tried feeding it a mix of bone meal and phosphorus? It'll do wonders for the seedlings. <laughs> I I'll give it a try. I guess. <gasps> Ladies, hold on to your hairpins. I've got bodacious news. I just ran into a dear old friend on the royal staff, and guess what she gave me? An invitation? To the royal ball? Tonight? For the whole salon staff! <laughs> I found more pearls! Uh, but I didn't have time to unwrap them. Kuda, the royal ball! At the castle! Oh no! This is terrible! It is? What are we gonna wear? Splash, the water's perfect You, me, and the deep blue sea Tails in the air like you just don't care It's an underwater fantasy yeah! Splish, splash, the water's perfect You, me, and the deep blue sea The future's so bright, you know that's how we do Everybody around the world, all my girls, grab your pearls, let me hear you singing, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody around the world, all my girls, grab your pearls, let me hear you singing, yeah, 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 yeah. flower too. It's a sulfur lily. Fergus! Why aren't you dancing? You're supposed to be finding a bride. I've tried, Father. Really, I have. But no one will dance with me. They mostly swim away screaming when I get near. Phew! Oh, no wonder! What is that stink? 
Oh, that's my quittest fit here. It's quite rare, you know. In fact, you can only find it in the coral reefs. We'll lose it! Now get out there and dance! Does he always speak to you that way? What way? Oh, there's the music. Excuse me, Father says I have to go dance. Well, I, you know, I like to dance. Really? You wouldn't mind? And I thought your flower was beautiful. I know. Wasn't it awesome? And their majesties will be drinking the Murberry Nectar Reserve tonight. And the clam said I couldn't play because I pulled a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lumina, welcome. I must thank you. You did absolute wonders with Fergus. I almost didn't recognize him. <sighs> then, sadly, I did. Uh, you're welcome. Excuse me, General Caligo. I call the first dance. Of course, Prince Dolphin. <laughs> It's Delphin. Whatever. Prince Delphin? And you deliver hair supplies too? Well, it's more of a hobby than anything else. When not performing my more princely duties. You're joking, right? And what about you? Hairstylist by day, princess by night? Princess? Who, me? I'm the furthest thing from a princess. Now who's joking? <laughs> Dolphin, right? I'm Kuda. <laughs> you don't say much, do you? <laughs> Finally! Oh, had that sardine stuck in my throat for weeks. I'm sorry, now what were you saying? Would you not? <laughs> ah, sorry. Everything going as planned? Like clockwork. Their majesties will grace us with their presence 15 minutes from now for what will be the king's final appearance. What about the girl? We're zeroing in. Every crawly creature in town is now looking for a 17-year-old blonde girl named Lumina. Don't worry. We'll get her. Was on her note. Is that her? Why, yes. So it would seem. Dancing in the castle. I never would have believed it. You dance as if you've done it a hundred times. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get us some refreshments. Promise me the next dance? <laughs> I promise. Oh, uh, General Caligo. I already promised Prince Delph in the next dance, but I can dance with you after that. Mm, tell me, Miss Lumina, are you here with your parents? M my parents? Actually, I was raised by my aunt. Hmm, I see. One of life's little secrets. Some secrets are best kept under wraps. Hey! What do you guys think you're- No witnesses! <laughs> Where do you want them? Oh, the castle dungeon. This time, I'm going to make sure the job is done right.
out of my way, you oversized pincushion! Well, excuse me. I wouldn't want you to be poisoned. Yeesh. Poison? What do you know about the poison? You were almost skewered by my poisonous spikes. Oh. Holy mackerel, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the seabed. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Haven't eels ever heard of mouthwash? Mm. <laughs> what do you want with us? <laughs> Patience. Patience, my dear. You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> Wait. I remember you. Uh, from the reef. Aren't you a friend of my aunt? Oh, I'd hardly say a friend. Your aunt and I are more business associates. <laughs> uh, what kind of business? We're <laughs> exterminators of a sort. Yeah, and in five minutes, your aunt's gonna exterminate the king. Right, she's gonna poisonate him. Ow! <laughs> 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 That's crazy. Aunt Scylla would never poison anyone. Uh-huh. You got stuck dancing with Fergus. Sorry. I don't know. I think he's kind of sweet. Oh, really? Where's Lumina? She's probably fawning over the tablecloths or sconces or something. Uh, Lumina, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Ha! <gasps> <gasps> ah, bribery! Good thinking. Not exactly. Thank you for asking so I get through a second. Nope, it's my turn right now. Huh? Hmm. Everything ready, Captain. Just awaiting your word, sir. Excellent. Did you see, Father? Did you see? I was dancing with a real girl! Good. I'm thrilled it wasn't a plant. <laughs> hit me. Hit me! I don't want to hit you. I want to play cards. Wait, just, just ante up. No, no one's gonna hit. No one's hitting each other. Give me three. Okay, three. Oh, now what? How do we distract the Noodle Brothers? Hey! What did you do that for? Do what? I didn't do nothing. Ow! Have you lost your mind? No, I swear. He must have done it. Did right? not. You started it! Cut that out! You hit me first! It's not! Then call! Yes, you did! Ow! Hey! What? <laughs> Shall we? Let's. Grab them! That way, you idiots! All together! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> huh? Is it too late to make a deal? Your nectar for the toast, sir. Uh -huh. 
to believe, but if Aunt Scylla's in some kind of trouble, we've got to help her. Whoa! much for the Pearl of the Sea and the Kingdom to someday go to... our little girl. Try to be brave. Come, come, woman. You can't hold on to things forever. That belongs to the King and Queen. Uh, what? What did you say? The nectar. You should be serving it. Oh. oh, yes. You're right. You're very right. Give me that, Coleco. I'm done poisoning people. Aha! So I was right. No thanks. I'll just hang on to this one, if you don't mind. Coleco, I'm trying to save your... Oh, I know what you're trying to do. You think I'm a fool? Fine. It's your funeral. She thinks she can outsmart me. Unless... That's just what she wants me to think. citizens of Sigundia. We gather today to present our kingdom's most treasured symbol, the Pearl of the Sea. To a fine young lad who will one day inherit our throne. Ugh. Oh, right. <laughs> My cup. And now a toast. Come, Caligo. Will you not toast your own son? Oh, uh, uh, yes. Uh, of course. Citizens, honored guests. To the future ruler of Secundia, who will someday guide our kingdom's destiny. To my nephew, our dear brother-in-law, Caligo's pride and joy, his only son and heir, and our next monarch, to Fergus! To Fergus! Oh, forgive me, I'm so sorry. Please, your majesty, take mine. <gasps> of course, uh, think nothing of it. <gasps> no! Oh no! Aunt Scylla? The eels were right! Again, let us toast to Fergus! <laughs> She tried to attack the king! 
gods! Arrest her! You can't take her! Yeah, she's never even heard of You crow. take your hands off of her! Let her go! She saved the king! There was poison in his cup! Poison? How do you know that? Because... I'm the one who put it there. No, don't listen to her! Why on earth would you want to poison me? I didn't want to. I was forced to. Forced to by... She fell on a stonefish, Spike! Poor woman. That stonefish venom will finish her for sure. What have I done? You all heard the old crone. She tried to poison our beloved king. And if this girl knew, she must be an accomplice. <gasps> Take her away! Please, sir. Just give us a moment. The lady said to give her a moment. Don't make me ink you. Uh, sure. Uh, no problem. Scylla, please stay with me. Please be all right. Lumina, I, I need to tell you. Shh, save your strength. Long ago, I took you from your parents. I did it to protect you. Uh, but all these years, they were suffering. I should have told them, but I was afraid of losing you. Please, forgive me. Spike, your venom. There must be an antidote. Something that can cure her. I'm sorry. There's only one thing I know of. A sulfur lily. <gasps> but it's extremely rare. I've never even seen one. Fergus, do you know that plant? <sighs> no, no, I don't. You heard the boy. He said it's hopeless. No, father, it isn't. The sulfur lily is the common name for the quittest fatir, and there's one right here. Thank you, Fergus. All you need are two petals. No! Gods, grab her! <gasps> Lumina, get out of here! Just seen proves how dangerous these two are. As commanding general, I insist on placing them both under arrest. It was him! Caligo! He's the one who ordered me to poison your majesty. He wanted the throne for his son, now! The old hag is delusional! I believe her, your majesty! 
You fool! You could have been king! I keep telling you, father. I don't want to be king! I want to be a botanist! Why are you- <laughs> Oh, Fergus! Yay! <laughs> The pearls... have... have you always been able to do that? Sure, I guess. Why? Because you have the royal gift! The pearl magic! Is it possible? Could you be... our daughter? She is. I am? But... but how? Caligo again. Years ago, he paid me to do away with your daughter. But I couldn't do it. So I raised her instead. Away from him. In that case, I think this is Luminance. Keeping her from you all these years. I thought I did it to protect her, but the truth was, I just couldn't give her up. The important thing is, she's here now. Lumina, welcome home. Home? You mean the castle? Here? But it won't be home if Aunt Scylla and Kuda aren't here with me. No, no, it wouldn't be right. Of course it would. You're her family, too. But this is still a royal ball, is it not? And now, it's a homecoming as well. <laughs> <laughs> Music, maestro, please! In that case, I believe you owe me a dance, Princess. As promised. Of course, I'll be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. 